That's right, guys. Frozen. Oh my gosh. The call was I came here to turn the water off to the house. Apparently somebody died. An old, uh, an old uh, customer of ours that I put a, a boiler in the water here in for a couple years ago passed away and I want the water turned off, but uh, why isn't the heat on? getting out of here because I think he died in here right there I'm getting the creepies I got a call it's the brother and uh, explain to him this is the boiler I put in explain to him that the heat should be on I mean, if you're turning the water off, then the boiler ain't going to work because it's steam. Um, but you need to winterize the home. Turning the water off ain't going to solve anything. This boiler can freeze and crack. The water here can freeze and crack. Pipes and everything can freeze and crack. I mean, this is... Turning the water off here over here at the meter ain't going to solve it. Wow, that was scary up there. Dude, this is so bad. The thermostat was off completely. Oh my gosh. Talk to my manager. I'm so scared. Talk to my manager and he wants me to put the heat. Oh gosh. Huh. Put the heat on 50 degrees. It's 40 and it's definitely probably 20 in here. That's as low as the thermostats go, reading wise. Oh shit. So bad. All right, let me get out of here and I'll tell you the rest. Uh, I have never seen anything like this, man. And if I can describe the smell to you guys. Uh, make sure the heat's on. Yeah, I'm going to add some water. it off but anyway apparently this guy passed away unfortunately he was a cool guy i knew him did work for him and uh he died upstairs this sucks man so i told the person that's taken over the estate to uh, hopefully it, it's not frozen up to here, but um, to tell the township to turn off the curb box and um, leave the heat on, let it thaw out a little bit so we can come back and winterize it. You can't winterize and blow out lines if it's frozen, but at least with the water off, if it does thaw out and burst, it's not gonna flood. We'll know when we come back and open up, open up the valve 
I don't think I'm getting water. Give a little more of Gundy. Definitely ain't rising. <sighs> so I just met two ladies there. They, I was coming out of the Philco doors basement in the back, <laughs> and they, and one of them came up came up behind me and I didn't hear them and it scared the living day. I got such a bad feeling in there and I'm in between re recording I, I spoke to my, my boss and I'm talking to him explaining the situation and everything and the phone rings and it's one of those old rotary like round with the round dials and they're loud and deep and it, he's like answer it he's calling you it scared me so bad man I've been creeped out one other time in an old house working, but this was something else. Anyway, those ladies, they told me that he was in there five to six weeks before he was found. <sighs> Let that sink in. Where I was walking in the living room. I knew that. I just didn't realize it was that long. I don't even know. I'm speechless right now. I'm so grossed out. And the dude said that it's gonna be probably at least another week before Surf Pro gets there or our cleanup company. Um, because they're so swamped because we're in a deep freeze. We're going on the second week straight where it hasn't gone above like 20. 20 degrees during the day and you know we're in the teens and single digits at night for for two weeks straight and this weekend's going to be even colder so they're they're swamped with with people that had flooded basements um burst water lines things like that all over the place i am signing off <laughs>